everyone! Today we are heading out to a location that I don't think we've taken you guys to before. It's like a product shipping place. The product shop. The product shop. So Hello, gonna... by the way. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to take you out there today. Did you like my voice? Yeah. No. I loved it. It wasn't like that. It was different. But anyway, anyway to the anyway, product shop. To the product shop. We're so... Aren't these clouds amazing? It like looks so ominous. It makes me think of like the song by the doors, like Riders on the Storm for some reason. It well, just is like, yeah, it's just situations are happening. Yeah. But anyway, on to the product shop. Anyways, so, yes. we're, we're heading to the product shop. Um, so we have two machines there. It's the pot machine, uh, a 721 Vendo and a uh, FSI 3091. Yeah, the one that you all did like the wrenching on and whatnot yeah, in the yeah. garage warehouse yes. type of setup. So I believe if you've watched our videos before, you have seen these machines that you'll see in just a moment. This is a fun drive though. We were like, this is going to be perfect for like kind of the opening deal with the vending situation when yeah, we're yeah. going through this. Yeah. And this is right by the airport. So imagine your view when you're coming in. Oh, that'd be crazy wicked. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Look at right. all these clouds. So anyways, these machines that we are showing you today. So we're going to start out with the Vendo. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll see on the Vendo that the cards on the front are not all beautiful and perfect because I need to update them more. But I'm getting them dialed in. I'm getting this location dialed in, trying to figure out what they truly, truly want in their machine before we get the actual cards sent in. Until then, we get some Jenny renderings that uh <laughs> that are kind of very nice placeholders i will say i like the arnold palmer one yeah the artwork although they're yes. fading they're fast fading from the lights shining on them so we're gonna have to get them in there soon you got that fluorescent situation on we gotta get that on lockdown yeah on <laughs> onto the machines at the product shop yes product shop machines so if you look at the upper left hand corner there you see that button that has an envelope on it it says selection empty something to that effect it's not really empty per se just there's two buttons that are tied to the same selection. So if you push that button, you're going to get the monster in the next selection. So we are going to put a nice card in there too. And now you know the rest of the story. Let's take a peek inside the machine, shall we? So today we're here to primarily stock up because they've been getting busier and busier since uh, more and more employers, employers, employees are returning back to uh, this office and this location um, since the pandemic. So we're just kind of gauging how well we're doing. Um, it looks like though, that they really, really like just about everything. Everything's pretty low. Um, today we are gonna be stocking up that white monster that's so super hard to see in the beginning there. Uh, the white monster and then um, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Diet Cherry Pepsi. And then I'll have to come back next week to stock up the Coke and the Cherry Coke. Cherry Coke I think is their absolute favorite here yeah dude i don't know about you but i would totally be destroying like some cherry coke on on the i'm probably on the rag man <laughs> you know out of this machine cherry coke would probably be my selection as well so uh, i completely understand why they're hitting the cherry coke okay i'm gonna actually go with like the diet cherry pepsi though now because like yeah i'm just gonna be different well that, I, that's what you have on the days when you're feeling a little healthier when you a little healthier yeah, you go with yeah. the, okay <laughs> You have both cherry options there for you. As you were, lady. As I was. So today, that's what we're doing. So we're socking stuff up, getting it all set up for those people to come in and drink some more. Um, as you can see, the Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Diet Cherry Pepsi, and the Monster is nice and full. We'll have to see how this is next week when we come back in. Maybe we'll show you. Maybe we'll show you how we're doing then. Alrighty then, so we've got some cash pull action going on out of the uh, 721 and then the snack machine, which escapes me. What is that? <laughs> it's an FSI 3091. That, yes. So cash pulls and then the money count at the end. But now on to more of the snack situations as told to you by Jenny. The snack machine is looking kind of sad. So once again, some employees at the snack machine having some hunger pangs, but... We are stocking up what we have with us today, and it looks like they really, really enjoyed all of the chips on the top row there, um, and really, like, Gardettos and chips and stuff like that seem to be their favorites here. A little chocolate, too, but you know. Um, also, we had one question on how the upgrade kit was doing. This is a machine that I use the In One Technology upgrade kit so that I could put a credit card reader on it. 
Um, it has been working fantastic. Um, you wouldn't know that it was upgraded um, just a little while ago. It, I, I don't know how to explain that. It, it There's been no flaws, no issues, or anything else. It works just like any of our other machines do with the credit card readers. So if you have a machine you're questioning whether to upgrade or not, I say go for it. It works superbly well. You know, I have to say, I really like this pair of machines a lot. Um, I'm proud of myself for upgrading it and having it work so well, and it looks super, super nice, especially next to that 721. The high visibility on it makes it look snazzy. Um, and it's really versatile too. You can put so many different things in it and it's super, super easy to change out your selections, the sizes and whatnot, you know what I mean. So these are some of my favorite machines. Like I said previously, we are still getting this new location dialed in to, to their favorites and what they have to have in there. So far this machine, this location, they really love their beef jerky and their peanut M&Ms seem to be one of those things that they have to have in there. So we make sure to always have those two things stopped because I think it's like somebody's like uh, lunchtime snack, like daily almost. Alrighty, so here we are going on to some good old fashioned cash counting. So with coins, we did have coins um, for both machines, but we put them right back into the machines, stock those uh, coin levels up. Don't want to be running out on the quarters, having anything beeping at people, just having people not being able to get their change. It's a situation. So anyway, with the uh, the pop machine, we had uh, $26, including a five, which was pretty cool. And then with the snack machine, that was $21. So we rocked $47 and that was over uh, right around two weeks, right around a two week window. So hopefully we can get them dialed in, start, start ringing in a little bit more. Yeah. All right, people. So with all that being said, you know, Jen and I really appreciate your time. We appreciate you watching. Um, thank you so much. If you're new in town, please consider subscribing. We, we'd really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We'd enjoy it. Yes. Um, so yeah, until we see you again. Keep your nose clean. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.